Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fantasy Football and welcome to my video. In today's video I'm going to be looking at my team and going into game week 34 where I'll be looking at the fixtures, players and basically my team. But before that we've got to go back to blank game week 33, see how well my team has performed. Um, I already created a video for it, I'm going in depth. Um, but in today's video I'm just going to give you guys like my final results. And yeah, that is about it really. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe and uh, drop a like on the video as it helps my channel out a lot. So here we go. So here we go. As you can see for the blank game week 33, I've got 79 points. Above the average of 36 there. Um, in the top 10k is around 52 points. I took a minus 4 point hit, so that's 75 points. I gained, what, about 42k rank boost so i'm around sixty thousand right now and boy i needed something like this um i've been waiting um you guys seen on my previous videos every time i got a green arrow every time i gained the rank i tried to kind of like maintain that rank for as long as i can really and just wait for my differentials to kick in and for this game week as you can see i've been holding like i was around the 100k mark the differential kicked in and now I'm 60k. Thanks to Chris Woods, who's just dramatically changed my season around here. Um, but the overall, the team did okay as well. So let's quickly go through it because we are going to be looking at um, game week 34. So Mendy with five, Rudiger with eight, and Trent with two, Holden with two, Jota with only one, Mount with only three, um, Salah there, 18 points. And Fernandez with three, Watkins with five, Iheanacho with 12, and Chris Wood with 20. 20. I'm pretty certain that this is not going to go up to about 10%, so he's still going to be a massive differential of mine. I'm not really expecting him to score another hat-trick, but you just never know. The fixtures are looking really good for him as well. Um, so overall, my team did really well. I didn't even need to take that minus four point hit, um, but I tried my luck. I tried to go and push and attack that blank game week. So I basically, I removed Harry Kane, which I'm a little bit regretting. Um, and Phillips, two players did not play. I bought in Trent, who could have kept the clean sheet right at the end. And Watkins got an assist. Um, so, you know, on another day, maybe it could have been different. You know, I went for it. And as you can see, I've got a couple of differentials here. Even that Chelsea defence there, um, you know, having two of those players, it's actually a big differential of mine. Mason Mount, I know that he's owned by, um, you know, 19%, 20%, but he's not owned by that percent in the top 100k. So he's still a differential of mine. Um, like Holding, that is 4.8, which I doubt that Arsenal's going to keep a clean sheet from now on, but... I do have uh, quite a lot of differentials here um, to kind of help me. You know, as you can see, it's quite it's quite a um, balanced team here with like highly owned players or players that has been doing well recently, like Fernandez and Salah and Trent right now. And uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. We've got to move on though. As you can see, this was the bench. Loughton was on the bench with eight points. I, I couldn't, I didn't know who to bench. And to be honest with you, if I didn't make that move, um, you know, if I didn't remove, um, you know, Harry Kane, yeah, I would have probably got Loughton off the bench. But these things can happen, guys. Uh, I'm pretty happy with what I got right now. So, yeah, let's move on to game week 34. So, for game week 34, there's a couple of topics that I wanted to talk to you guys about. Number one is fixtures. Number two is basically um, the double and the blank game week. And uh, captaincy I want to talk to you guys about. And some of my transfer thoughts. And the other transfers to kind of help you guys out. So let's just go to the fixtures first. As you can see, this is the fixtures. Friday is the deadline. Um, and uh, looking at these fixtures, I'm not 100% certain that this team that I have would do well. I think uh, there are a couple of players that I would love to bring into my FBL team like Castagna um, from Leicester City against Southampton. Um, I'm looking at maybe an Everton player. I'm looking at 
a Leeds player. Um, Harry Kane, that I would really would love to have in my team and captain him. Um, Pereira from Wolves. Um, so there's a, a number of players there. And uh, if we look ahead, like the strategy, you know, a lot of people's talking about Game Week 35 being a double game week and Game Week 36 being a blank game week. However, nothing has been confirmed yet. And for that reason, for that reason, I really want to bank the transfer in Game Week 34. Banking the transfer and just basically surviving this game week. I'll have two free transfers and I might take a minus four point hit and I can set my team correctly for the double. So basically push for the double and basically attack the blank game week. I actually gained good amount of rank from a blank game week. So navigating through the double and the blank it is the key strategy that I need to do to get that extra rank boost. I can't always rely on Chris Wood giving me 20 points here. Um, but I need a little bit of a luck as well along the way. But navigating through those double and blank game weeks, it's going to definitely help me out to gain the rank that I want to have at the end of the season. Right now, I'm 60k. I want to hold this rank for a week or two and push again and get into the top 50k. Top 10k is going to be a little bit difficult unless... Um, some of my differentials scores a brace or something and it will get close to it. But for now, we've got to be realistic. We've got to go with what I can see right now and that is 50k. Okay, so let's go through the team. I've got Mendy and Rudiger at home uh, against Fulham. This is a fantastic fixture for Chelsea to keep a clean sheet and score a lot of goals in. However, they've got a Champions League game tonight. So for that reason, I need to make sure that I check the Champions League and the press conference to make my final decision. If I find out that, you know, Mendy might get benched or Rudiger or even Mason Mount, or if there is an injury, then I need to like be aware of that before I make any kind of transfers. So I'm hoping that they do play against Fulham because this is a fantastic fixture for them. Uh, I've got Trent there and Salah against Manchester United. To be honest with you guys, I have no idea what's going to happen in that fixture. I'm just going to hope that is a nil-nil game. Um, Regalon is a massive differential uh, with only um, 4.8, 4.7, okay, 4.7% owned. I don't mind playing him against um, Sheffield United, to be honest with you. And I've got Son there as my captain. Now, if I had Harry Kane, I would have captained him. I took that risk. Uh, I'm, I'm regretting it, but, you know, I can still bring him in. And I am thinking to bring him uh, around game week um, 36 uh, for that home fixture. I think it is against, was it West Brom? I can't remember. Let me just have a quick look. Um, okay, Wolves. There we go. So I'm thinking to bring in Harry Kane around here. Um, so I am going to bring him in, but I don't know when. But... I don't know if I should do it now or should I do it later. If I do it now, then I basically need to remove Trent and upgrade um, Watkins to Harry Kane. So I'm not 100% certain on that as well because uh, Liverpool has got a good fixture at home next against Southampton. Uh, Fernandez there, a lot of people was thinking to remove him. I'm actually thinking to remove him as well. However, if he does have a double, I might captain him. Next up is Watkins against Everton. I am not sure what's going to happen here. It might be a nil-nil, it might be a high-scoring game. It might be the same situation of Chris Wood. You know, I wasn't really expecting Chris Wood to score three goals and assists. I expected him maybe to get a return. Um, so it's one of those fixtures that I'm not 100% certain on what's going to happen. Iheanacho against Southampton. Iheanacho is just on form. He's just on fire. Whatever he does, it does well. And he could have got more assists. He could have got more goals in that last game against Crystal Palace. And Chris Wood there as a big differential. A lot of people's turning and thinking to bring him in. The fixtures for him actually looks really, really good. Uh, the next game is West Ham. Then it's Fulham. Leeds. Difficult fixtures there, but you never know. And um, Sheffield uh, United there away in the final day. So I have a plan in my mind. However, I actually like I really want to bank the transfer and kind of adjust to any kind of announcements that we get. That is my 
first priority. However, if there are some injuries, if there are players that I need to remove because they might get benched in the next game or something, I do have some plans. So let's just look at Harry Kane and see if I can actually bring him back into the team. Let's just see if I really want him in my team. 3.8. I, I can't do that with Trent. Um, and so let's just say that I remove Fernandez and Watkins there. I don't mean I don't need to remove Watkins to be honest with you. There we go. Then I got 7.3. So I do have something to kind of play around with to bring in a midfielder. Hmm. The other transfer is to bring in Castagna from Leicester City. Uh, let's just go to him right now. He is actually quite expensive, 5.8. However, I do have Regalon here and I still have uh, 1.5 million in the bank, which I can remove and bring in Castagna because he's just playing so much better. And he could have got a lot more assists in the last game. Or no, the game before he got an assist. Uh, he scored in this one and he's playing against Southampton and the next one is against Newcastle and Newcastle uh, They're pretty much actually they're not that safe from relegation, but I Mean they can they can lose a the game then they're not but they they I don't know I think I think this could be a close game So I can bring in Castania is a player that I actually was looking at my transfers for game week 33 So I can do something like this and play him instead of Regulon. Now, as for the midfielders, I've got Jota there that I'm not 100% certain if he's going to be able to play 90 minutes every game. And I've got Mason Mount here, which is a little bit of a differential of mine, which could do really well for me. But he's got an important game against Real Madrid. So, you know, he might even get benched in the next game against Fulham. But it's a little bit risky. But I do have players to kind of help me out if he is benched. So there's that. But if I needed to remove a midfielder, it would probably be Mount or Jota or Fernandez to um, fund Harry Kane. If it's Jota or Mason Mount, I'm looking to bring in Jesse Lingard because I need him back in my team. Um, I can see him doing well. He's got a, a couple of good fixtures as well. Um, but yeah, that's the midfielder options there. And as for the strikers, I've got Chris Wood, Ian Acho, and Watkins is... Basically, is a placeholder that I can I can remove and bring in any other player that I want. Maybe DCL, I can do so, and maybe a Hurricane if I really wanted to take that minus four point hit. Um, I brought in Watkins because he had a fantastic fixture against West Brom, and uh, there might be a double for Aston Villa, so I just kind of gambled on that. So yeah, that's pretty much it really. Went through my strategies, uh, my team fixtures, and the possibilities of the double and the blank. I think that banking the transfer with the team that I have is the way to go. But I will see what happens throughout the week. Still a long way. Um, just to let you guys know that if there are some announcements, like today or tomorrow, I'll do my best to post a video out on a Wednesday. I will be out. I won't be at home. So I won't be creating a video on a Thursday or Friday and Saturday. But there is a chance for me to record a video on a Sunday. So if there are some announcements after Wednesday, I won't be able to make a video. But before that, I will. But please follow me on Twitter. That's where I'll make my final decisions. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining. Um, fantastic week for me. 60K. Hopefully that I can maintain it. Hopefully I can get into the top 50K and get closer and closer to that top 10K. 50k is the next target and we'll see what happens guys. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that I have helped you along your way on this uh, amazing appeal journey. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining guys and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.